the UMass Minutemen, year two of Don Brown's second stint as the head coach here. Whew, and it looks rough this season. Let's go on and pull it up on the screen so you can see exactly what we're looking at. They went 1-11 and last year. Post-game win expectancy had them at 1.69 and 10.31 last year. So that's definitely not great. Uh, they lose cornerback Josh Wallace just recently uh, to Michigan. That's not good. Uh, their returning production is still number 30. Over 69%, almost 70% adjusted returning production. So they did bring in quite a few guys. Uh, but you look at those numbers on offense. Number 130 in PPA per drive on offense. Uh, number 130 in rushing success. Number 130 in passing success. They were number 113 in offensive explosiveness. Uh, and on top of that, they couldn't take care of the ball. Number 84 in turnover margin. Uh, they weren't good at, at not beating themselves when it comes to penalties. So number 126 in penalties per game. I mean, it was it was brutal last year. So let's go on and talk about uh, the offense to start off with. Let's talk about this. Steve Kasula, he was the offensive coordinator at Ferris State before he joined Michigan as an offensive analyst, and then he uh, followed Don Brown over to over to UMass, right? So he, I think he went to Arizona as well. Uh, or no, 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 Keith Dudzinski uh, has followed Don Brown everywhere, but Kasula, like, you know, he was at Michigan. Uh, the offense was next to last in both rushing and passing success rate. Only averaged 12.5 points per game. They brought in transfer quarterback uh, Tyson Fomachon, uh, who was at Clemson and then went to UConn, and now he's at UMass, right? Didn't get to play last year. Uh, at least I believe that's correct. I think he was at UConn before that. But either way, they brought in some transfer wide receivers as well, a bunch of new guys, Wells, Simpson, et cetera. They were four passing touchdowns to 14 interceptions last year. That ain't great. Now, some positive, they do return four starting offensive linemen. They lose the left tackle Longman, uh, but multiple transfer run, uh, running backs and wide receivers is going to be the key, along with whoever ends up winning this quarterback job. They got to be more efficient. They got to create explosive plays uh, you, and take care of the ball. Like, I, I, what else can you say about this? Like, this is this is rough, uh, which we've gone long on on the two before this. It probably not going to be as long on this one. Defense, Keith Dudzinski, uh, he's followed Brown's last three stops. He was uh, at Michigan. He was at Arizona. Now he's at UMass as the D.C. Teams ran the ball 60% of the time on UMass last year. Now, they were number 54 in rushing success allowed. That's pretty good. Uh, but they were number 121 in rushing explosiveness allowed. Uh, number 131 in passing explosiveness allowed. Uh, number 123 overall. That's not great. The secondary only allowed 175 yards per game. Uh, but, man, was that just awful run defense? Or was it, you know, the fact that the secondary was pretty good? They're not going to be as good this year without Josh Wallace or without Tanner Davis. I know that. Um, they did bring in several transfers to help, you know, build up the overall talent. Their luck rank last year was bad. It was number 99. Again, luck has to do with turnovers, injuries, um, Field goals, etc. Right, just a lot of stuff that goes into that. They're only projected favorites in one game. There's four toss-ups on the schedule, and that's games that I project would be within a score, like the the point spread. I don't feel good about this team this year. I just don't. Let me move me off the off the screen, and I'll tell you the keys to the season. Uh, the hope isn't necessarily to make a bowl game. Two wins would be an improvement. Um, turnovers and penalties. Have to improve, period. They're already bad. You can't beat yourself, too. Uh, the other question here, who wins the quarterback job? And can they improve the offense at all? Overall talent was upgraded through the portal. On defense, you got to be better against the run. Otherwise, there is zero chance for this team to do anything. They've got three transfer defensive linemen, two linebackers. That adjusted returning production at number 30 is, is pretty good. Uh, however, their win total sits at one and a half. It is juiced to the over at minus 180. It is plus 150 on the under. I'm going to roll with the under. I I feel so much better about these toss-up games, right? Uh, at New Mexico State. Uh, New Mexico. Um, you know, toss in Arkansas State. It, UConn, Liberty, Army, Penn State. I mean, this schedule is ridiculous. So I think they can get the win over Merrimack in November. But... I have very little faith in anything else 
besides that, I got them one and eleven. I think the ceiling for this team is four and eight. If you pull something like Florida International did last season, yeah, you could probably find four wins on here if you got lucky. But the floor, if you get beat up by Army pretty good, you got to come back home the next week against Merrimack. Maybe you lose that one too. Maybe the floor is zero and twelve. I've got them one and eleven, so I'm going to take the under at plus one fifty over at BetUS. Uh, not a great second season incoming for Don Brown, I don't think. Um, but I do think uh, UMass is is headed in the right direction. I just think this roster was down so bad, it's, it's going to take a while. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.